Hello and welcome once again to how to install and we are now looking at probably the one of the most difficult mods to install for any game really. We are looking at Third Age Total War and then Divide and Conquer. Yes that's right they are two separate mods all in their own. Third Age Total War is a massive massive mod and it will probably take is probably the, long, the largest one you'll have to deal with. DAC is on a similar scale but it is only a sub mod to Third Age Total War, Third Age Total War. As you can also see here, release date, it came out 2009. This is a decade old, this first mod is a decade old. So for, for those of you who don't know how to, how to install it, well, this is how you do it. Well firstly you have Medieval 2 Total War installed, for those that don't know that this is a mod for Medieval 2 Total War. And it has to be Kingdoms as well. You have to make sure you've got the Kingdoms expansion, otherwise none of this will work. Although currently they have made Medieval a, de a definitive edition, so you should have all of that pre-installed anyway now. But unfortunately back in my day, saying it like, like it was years ago, which it was, um, I had to go for a little, uh, something a little different, where I have to use a universal launcher. And that's just my way of doing it. Obviously you guys don't pro probably won't need to do that. Uh, because of, ha um, yeah, let's just leave it at that. So to begin with, you have the three for Third Age Total War. So you got the so you got the first two, part one and part two, to version 3.0, the the latest version that came out a decade ago. And all you have to do is download it. Same with um, the other two for Battle of Middle Earth. And then you have these three files here. So basically, for each of these, it's exactly the same process. So I'm just going to go through one and then talk through the other and then talk through the other as if. I was doing it myself, but again, like the, like the others, I won't be downloading anything in particular, just because it will t it does take a long, long time to upload or to install. And, 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 and as you can probably guess, by the fact it's taken this long to do it now, you can imagine how long it's going to take to get it all done. And I don't have time for, to edit right now, but oh well. I'm, I'm sure you guys will know what, what to do after I've told you. So after you wait about 20 years for it to upload, rem remember always run as administrator, especially this one. I cannot s tell you how much I've heard some people who have um, done videos on trying to install this that you need to run as administrator. It, if, if you just double click, things could go wrong. Things might slow down. This is a very old game. This is a very old mod. So do everything as you're told. Trust me, it will save you a lot of trouble. So begin with this program I to install, yada yada. S same as the others, just tells you um, everything about it. You have to change the name of the folder. Well, you don't have to anymore because it does that immediately. And then I agree with the above terms and conditions. And then we want to be going to, um, if you have your Steam folder in the, in your C drive, then you'd want you'd not want to follow this path here. What you want to do is, piece is um, I would I, I recommend. Um, going straight to C drive if you did again do it on here then you go to Steam but because my folder is elsewhere it's in my G drive we go into Steam and then you go down until you find Steam apps do not press Steam again look for Steam apps so go, going back again so um, originally where the base the base folder is where the local disk is your C drive or for me G drive then you go down to, to your Steam folder then you go down again to the Steam apps folder you search for common and then you search for Medieval 2 Total War. And then once you've done that, you don't click anything else. You just click the folder, you press OK, and that will send you to where it needs to be sent to. It's, it tells you how much space needs to be required and how much I've got left. And it tells you next. And then this will start the program. This, this takes about 30 minutes, I think, for the first one. The second one's a little quicker, and then the patch 3.2 the patch is a lot quicker. The first two do take a long time to upload and start. So again, then you go to part two. Exactly the same process, exactly the same folder. Nothing changes. But once that's all done, you've ne uh, but once you've got all three of these ups installed, I would recommend opening um, o op opening up the um, the game using well the well for me it's going straight to third age and then clicking the universal launcher to check if the game works uh, make sure there's no slowness just just go for like a turn off free just to check that the game doesn't slow down it's not um weak it's not it's actually doing what it needs to do and then um after you've done all that while we're waiting for this because i can't do anything else right now there we go 
And also all of these files are all in the same place. You can find them in the photos total war files. Location is the top three, 3.2 patch, 3.0 part one of two, 3.0 part two of two. Everything else it says is obsolete. Do not, you do not need these. These are not required. They are all obsolete. They're, they're over a decade old. You do not need them. So then, well, well, again, welcome. Yada, 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 I agree. And then once again, yeah, yeah and also it, it doesn't actually tell you um, but it, it doesn't go back to its original state but you have to once again search for your for a certain drive your steam file folder steam apps folder common and then search for the game press ok click next it will start and if i know this one's lot this one's four times larger than the first one so this will take a little bit longer to do but once you've done that once again you open part 3.2 and you do exactly the same process. I cannot tell you, R running as administrator, getting it done right, and you can see that was a lot faster. Part one and two are massive, part of the patch, all patches are very, are often very small. And once again, search, PC, it's the drive, Steam, Steam apps, common, Medieval 2 Total War. Just need to do that. So all of those three times. Then you look for. Well, again, you can just launch up Steam and find it there. But for me, it doesn't work. Just open the launcher. Well, for, well, for me, it opened the launcher. It opened the game, and then you'd have the third age script telling you what to do. If that doesn't work, then you then something is wrong. You will have to look into that further because I have no idea what could be causing a problem. It it might be you send it to a wrong folder. You might actually press on the Steam folder twice. You might have. Um, not change, uh, realize that you've changed the uh, medieval total war uh, directory um, and any of those things but always look into everything with scrutinous detail I cannot tell you now how scrutinous you have to be with yourself if you want this to work because it, it, it wouldn't like the first time I did this it took me 10 hours to sort it out and now I could do it in an hour flat and now we come to Divide and Conquer. For those that don't know much about Divide and Conquer, it has been through a lot of changes in the past. We are currently at version 2.2, but to get to version 2.2, you need to first install part one and part two of version 2.1. And once again, it's all on ModDB. It's not hard to find. Go into files, you'll find it right here. There's only three files. You need to get all three of them if you want to play version 2.2. You cannot play any older versions, I don't believe, because I don't believe those files no longer exist in ModDB or just the internet altogether. Once again, you download them, and um, the mod leader has actually um, told you, yes, this is part one, this is part two, and this is 2.2. This this way, um, for those, those of you that don't, uh, don't read it all properly or just not notice it in time, this is the order it needs to be done. Part one, part two, and then 2.2 number one. So you start off by once again running as administrator, DAC 2.1 part 1. But with these three, you need to go to a different location. It's not too far off from where we used to go with the uh, third age total war. But with DAC, we need to be more specific in where it is going to go. Because what this does, this sets up in the mods folder, the third age free folder. That's what... That's what Footage Total War does. Now DAC is an extension of this mod. If it weren't an extension of mod, it's a separate mod on its own. You go through exactly the same process and end it off at uh, getting to the medieval folder. But with these three, uh, ign ignore the, uh, the sum mod for now. We'll go into that in a few moments. So as you can see, exactly the same process. You just have to go through everything. If you want to read this so it tells you what to do, that's perfectly fine. It's all will default to this location. If you do, have not changed the location of your Steam library, then please click next because this is telling you where it needs to go. So yeah, if my um, Steam apps were in C drive, so it'd be C, program file, Steam, Steam apps, common, medieval to total war, third age, mods, third age data. But because mine's in the G drive, and you can see these are all faded out because they don't exist. If they did exist, then that would be perfectly fine. But because I switched to the G drive, we need to go down then to Steam, once again into Steam Apps, then to Common, and then we find Medieval to Total War. Again, if this was a separate mod, you don't need to go any further, but because this is DAC, it is a sub-mod of a mod, so you need to go all the way down to Third Age 3, but once you've clicked on this, similar to before, that is it. As long as you've got this stream here, it, it doesn't matter about what file it's in, but as long as you've got Steam, 
Steam apps, common, Medieval 2 Total War, mods, Third Age free data. It may be different for those of you that have the disc. I honestly don't know. I've never had to use the disc. I don't know how it would be different, but it should look very similar to this. But all, all that's different is this little bit here. Mods, Third Age, and the data part will add on itself because it goes into the data folder of Third Age free. It all goes into here. Everything goes into here. And we'll talk about the large address aware in a few mementos. So then we click next. This folder is already exists. We'd like to install the, fo uh, the folder anyway. You will click yes, and you'll go for the same process. It will then, if I'm correct, uh, let's go to install. So it's preparing to set up because I believe there is one more thing we need to clarify over. Nope. Okay, that just that does it. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that because I do not need it. If that causes problems for me, I'll just sort it out in my own time. But yeah, that's exactly the same process for part two. You go through all of it. It's exactly the same. Um, what, what most likely will happen, you'll see um, these folders have all, already exist. You'll just have to uh, just um, just ignore it or retry it. And it will just you just have to do this a few times over and over and over again. And then that should be perfectly fine. And then once again, for the next part, download back part two. Once again, run as administrator. You cannot run. You, 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 people think just running administrator as administrator doesn't do much. It does a crap ton. I'm telling you now. Because the first time I did this, I didn't run as administrator. And it caused a lot of problems. But that was a few years ago now. A lot has changed since, since then. But it is still recommended to run as administrator every chance you get. No matter what it is. Even out of doing all these mods, whatever it is, if it's something important and, you, you, and it, it just goes with the do do do, always run as administrator. Because otherwise, your computer will think, okay, this might be harmful, we don't want to do this, throw it away. That's what it does. And once again, you. So, once again, we're at version uh, 2.1, uh, part 2. Everything again is the same except for the fact it's in the C drive. So, we need to once again search out of here, search for the G drive. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Medieval 2 Total War, Mods, Third Age Free, that is it. That's all you need. And then next, and it goes through exactly the same process again. And then for version 2.2, it's, it's much smaller, only has a few small differences. But it, it, but for those of you that want to play the game similar to how I have been playing it recently, with my Linden, Lorien, and, and Angmar campaigns, and it's all the same and once again same process get rid of the C or, or whatever it is make sure everything's correct to third age free data and then everything should be hunky dory and now we come to the sub mod I've put recently on uh, learn how to uninstall my sub mod which I wish I had learned before so this is the total war sub mod for those of you that don't know what I've been doing for my last two playthroughs of divide and conquer we have been playing through the total war which puts no preset alliances so how to install it, exactly the same as everything else. We're going to go through how to install this one, though. So once again, we search for the folder, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Neither to Total War, Mods, Third Age Free. And once you do this enough, you will realize it is so, so easy to just do all this, and there's no problems whatsoever. It, it's... It's like it, the, the cause your, your brain just need to actually operate first. But once they do it, that's it. And it looks like that, it's now set up. And it also tells you how to uninstall it. For those that don't read this, I will now tell you how to uninstall the mod. So we go to the third age free folder, we go into data, and we go all the way down until we find this thing called the simple cleaner. Some of it might say dot bat as well. It's a Windows batch file. All you need to do is double click it, and then press any key to continue. And then you look for the sub mod uninstall. You find a data folder here. Just have to copy from here and then go back to here and then paste it. This will remove anything the sub mod has done to the data folder. Everything is within the data folder when it comes to this mod. Well, the, the sub mod for Third Age Total War and more importantly, the sub mods for Divide and Conquer. And then for another, another thing, for those of you who have a slightly better running computer, and can run this game much smooth, uh, much more smoothly. 
but find that it's still lagging, it's still slowing down, it's having those problems, we look for this thing here called the large address aware. Run as administrator. And basically what this does is allows you to play for the game instead of using one gig, uh, two gig of data to, additional to an additional two gig of data. So what you need to do is you need to search for Medieval 2. Open. Click this box to enable the application to use more. That, so, oh yeah, I should probably mention where you find this. So once again, it's in common. Medieval 2. And then it's just the Medieval 2 portrait there. You click it and then it takes you to where it is. It's just telling you, so Medieval2.exe, that's the actual game. So this was a large address aware flag. Uh, check this box to enable the application to use more than 2 gig of memory. Uncheck the box to limit the application to 2 gig of memory. If we click on this, it changes from 2 gig to 4 gig, meaning you can use twice as much memory. The game will work twice, well, hopefully will work um, twice as well, and everything should be fine. Obviously, I've already got it, so it won't be much of a change, but then you just press save, you close, and then you're done. Probably shouldn't have closed that, but let's go back to here. And let's show that the game still works in tandem perfectly fine. And we'll also show that because we've uninstalled the mod, Total War Sun mod is not currently working. So it does have, does have to go through all that. It loads. It takes a bit of a takes a bit of time, but you get used to it after playing it for over a thousand hours. And then it loads up like it normally should. If it doesn't load up saying Divide and Conquer when you've installed Divide and Conquer, then you've only installed footage Total War correctly. But obviously, if you haven't installed Divide and Conquer at all, then it will just come up as Third Age Total War. It just crashed on me. It just crashed, and now you get to see my OBS settings. That's not good. Let's try again. And if that doesn't work, we'll call it there, and I will have to sort out where the hell to fix this. Because <laughs> it worked perfectly last time. It worked perfectly all in testing, just not now. Come on, you can work. You know you can. Nope, it does not want to work. And once again, you get to see little OBS. Well, I'm going to sort out a few of my problems with this. Hopefully, um, everything I've done doesn't cause you any problems in the game. If it does, then do tell me, and I will try and find the way to fix it. In fact, I know. I think I, what, I think I know what caused it because I went, I started installing and then stopped. I need to go through all of this installing again. Oh, I'm a prat sometimes. Well, hopefully you've all enjoyed this. Hopefully it's insightful. And hopefully the madman makes his mark, because I hopefully, because uh, hopefully I've done that all correctly and I haven't caused anyone any grief by telling them how to do it wrong. Oh, my voice, my voice croaked a bit there. So I hope you all enjoy this little installation, and I will see you back in the Edine mod after the weekend. Ta-ta for now. I was right. Oh, I was right. It took me 30 minutes. Listen to what 30 m minutes uh, me said, but guys, I was right. I accident Because I accidentally started the install but didn't finish it, it caused a problem. So make sure you go through the entire installation. Make sure you go through it all and don't do what I did. St don't start it and then stop halfway through. That's where the problems come in from. <laughs> oh, it took me 30 minutes to figure that out. I was told me it took me 40 minutes to wait for it all, so it didn't take me 30 minutes to figure it out. Oh. Well, I hope you all enjoyed all of this. Just, just a little bit of an add-on. Going to do a bit of editing now. Might get a bit of music in the background. Yay. Well, until until next time, ta-ta for now.